I think it's a good platform and it's a good foundation to start having those discussions about what does this data mean. Spokane police officers more likely to use force against a black and Native American residents. That is according to a new 300 page report commissioned by the Spokane Police Department. Krem 2's Amanda Broly breaks down more of the findings from the diversity or disparity report rather and how local leaders are reacting to it. The Spokane Police Department commissioned a study on how its officers interact with the community. This disparity study looks at police interactions by demographics such as sex, age, and race. Police Strategies LLC compiled the 300-page report on police activity. SPD released it to the public today. Let's dive into the main takeaways. The data did find disparities in crimes reported to police. The report says a black individual is three times more often identified by an officer as a suspect than expected based on population. A Native American, 68% more likely, but an Asian is 65% less likely to be identified as a suspect. The report suggests there is also disparity found in the use of force. According to the data, black arrestees are 22% more likely to have force used against them, whereas Native American arrestees are 49% likely. But the report found no disparities with police stops, arrests, or enforcement action. According to Police Strategies LLC, all races are likely to be contacted by Spokane Police. That's either during a traffic stop or an investigation. While no racial disparity was found in police arrests, the data shows black individuals are 46% less likely to be issued a citation or infraction. A Native American is even less likely. Police Chief Craig Meidel was surprised by a few of these findings, but he says the work is not done. It is at least one indicator uh, that that perhaps we we are following procedural justice practices to a certain level. Does that mean that we have crossed the finish line and we can rest? No. He says this data is a good platform to discuss what it means and what can change. NAACP President Keontha Duncan says this is not one but two steps forward in the right direction. While I'm not particularly excited about the findings of the report, I am excited that the police department and the city is willing to make this a very transparent process and willing to have community involvement. Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News.